is your first time watching this series or your first time with us don't let words like meta section scare you don't let them intimidate you pretty much everything that you're going to see in this series is literally copy and paste simple and we're going to do this step by step our next step is to insert what's called google analytics and that's simply some again simply copy and paste we're going to go to google analytics and if you're not already signed up with Google Analytics, simply sign up. If you don't have an account, click on start for free, fill in the details, which are easy, and set up an account. Once you do that, click on admin, and then click on create property. Fill in the property name, update the time zone and the currency if that needs to be changed, and click next. Now fill in business size, and uh, I would check on measure customer engagement with my site or app. Click create. And click on web, and fill in the URL and the stream name. Click on create stream. Then click on global site tag and copy the code. If you're using an HTML editor, then you're going to paste that code in between head and head along with your other meta details, which would be the keywords and so on that we covered in the last video. If you're using GrooveFunnels, go to the page with, of the URL that you want to insert the code on. Click on page and click on the three dots next to page and click on edit settings. Scroll down to uh, where it says code includes, tracking GA and so on, and paste your code in there. Click on the check mark to the left of page and save. And congratulations. The next thing I want you to know how to do is to create a header and a footer. Before we do that, if you find value in this video, and I hope you do, hit the like button. Give it a big thumbs up. Hit that like button. Do that right now. I'd appreciate it. When it comes to headers, what I usually do are smaller headers. The reason is that I want to use a header because it does add some professionalism and it actually builds some trust, some confidence. People feel as though this is a real website. On the other hand, I don't want the header to overshadow the, the web page, especially on a landing page. The main thing that, that, we, that you and I want to have happen is for our customer to see keto recipes breakfast. So we don't want our, our header to be so big that it overshadows that because if all of our, if our visitor only sees the header and doesn't see keto recipes breakfast, then there's a good chance they're going to leave because that's what they're looking for is keto recipes breakfast, not a big huge header. So to create the header, they are literally drag and drop easy. 
uh, we're going to go to a site called Canva, canva.com. Canva is free and Canva can help us make most any kind of an image for just about any use uh, for Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and so on, including videos. And we're going to get to that later. We're going to get to that in, in future videos. Click on logo because that's 500 by 500. And that's just about the size that I want for the top logo. And then I'm going to want a smaller logo, about 250, 200 to 250 by 500 for the bottom. So let's make two headers to help us with with branding, with trust, professionalism, and so on. But click on logo. And as you can see from the logo that I've already made, we're not really making a logo. Again, we're making a small header. And as you can also see, it's real simple. We've got an image and some text, and that's it. It's that easy. So for an image, click on photos and then type in the search box the kind of photo that you want. So let's say weight loss, type in weight loss. Find a free image that we want to use, click on it, and that image is going to appear in the work box. Now we want to size and adjust the image, leaving room for text at the top or at the bottom or both depending on what we want to say on that header. Typically that header is going to identify our website. Chance, uh, usually I'll go with the name of the website. So we can, so we can use uh, Keto Diet Center, which I've already used, so you want to use something maybe a little bit different. Keto Diet Hub, all about keto. Once you've sized the image, next thing you want to do is click on text and on the left side choose the text that you want to use. See Keto Diet Center, all about keto. Uh, once we're satisfied, simply download. Now we have our header for our top, and what we're going to do for the smaller one is simply move things around a little bit, make the image a little bit smaller, put the uh, text on the side, and we're going to make about a 250, 200 by 500 for the, for the bottom. So it's going to be about half of the, we're going to use about half of the box for our bottom header. When we're satisfied with that, click on that. Now we cannot resize. We can't resize on the free version of Canva, but we sent, we can do that with Paint. So after we download, click on Paint. And uh, if you don't know where Paint is, type it in the search box on your computer. So once you open Paint, click on File and open the smaller header and simply move the bottom up, move the sides over, rotate it 180 degrees, move the, the other, move the bottom up, which is now the top, to the, to the right size. Once it is the size that you want, rotate it 180 again and save, and I would save it as the size that it is. And if you don't know, um, you can click on size and it will tell you how many pixels it is, or you can adjust it to 200 by 500, 250 by 500, etc. Next thing we want to do is go to our landing page. And I want to share a brief overview of your landing page setup and how you can use a three-step approach that will turn landing pages into many ATMs, many cash machines. And your landing page should be a mini cash machine. So step one is actually already done. Step one, that's where we want to make that essential, that all-important connection with our visitor. And we want to make it immediately, and that's where we're going to have keto recipes diet or whatever that search term is in our, uh, in our headline and right at the very top of the headline. Step two is, uh, is to what I call create enough. Enough what? Well, typically enough interest or enough desire, enough reason for our visitor to stay on the web page and create some interest, create some desire, create some motivation for them, for them to get down to our call to action and take action. And step three is our call to action, which is real simple. It's simply asking them or telling them to take whatever action it is that we want them to take. And that action could be a click-through, it could be a sign-up, it could be a donation, it could be an enrollment, and so forth. On our landing pages, 99.9% .9 of the time, our CTAs, our call to actions, are going to be an email capture. And we're going to get to the, into that in our next video. But in order to get our visitors to take action, or this brings us to the biggest mistake that I believe that aspiring 
or affiliate marketers, aspiring newbies make, and I've made it myself, so I'm pretty sure that most people make this mistake. And what we simply do is we, we pretty much kind of copy and paste a lot of what's on our affiliates web page. This is a major no-no because uh, it's really going to hurt us, and it's going to hurt us in a big way. For one thing, we've used that ammunition on our page. We might have got a click-through, but then we didn't make a sale because we used up all that ammunition. By the time they get to the the, the affiliates page, it's, it's old news. Now, here's how we can get around that. Here's a suggestion, and that's real simple, and that's to do a little bit of research. Simply take a few minutes and do some research. Google knows Google knows all and Google will tell us all it knows if we ask. Consider searching, consider searching uh, with search terms such as what is new, what's new with your niche in, the, in this case, what's new with keto diet, what's changed with keto's diet, what's, what are the latest changes, what are the latest updates, uh, words like this about a keto diet or whatever niche that we're using. And as you can see here, uh, if we scroll down, we're going to see WebMD has an article about, article about keto might change your gut in more ways than one. Let's click on that article and see what they've got to say. And to sum up the article, uh, there was a very small study of 17 overweight men uh, that was made and it was discovered that ketones have a beneficial effect on your gut. Ketone bodies can directly affect gut bacteria even in the absence of the full diet. And what this simply uh, is stating is that the changes that are, are going to result are going to strengthen our immune system and tamp down inflammation. And inflammation happens to be one of the reasons, if not the number one reason, why a lot of people cannot lose weight. Whatever they try to do, it doesn't seem to work. And the the fact is that with a lot of people, that even a small amount of inflammation causes weight gain. So their body is fighting their weight loss. So this is really huge information. This is really beneficial. This is one of the reasons why keto works for some people when other diets have never worked. When we're done with it, I'm going to give you this landing page. It's a template. What I've done is a, that all-important connection, Keto Recipes Breakfast, then it's like you're going to find those recipes below, but you may want to check out some of these exciting information, this exciting news about keto that you may not know. Then I'm going to tell them a little bit about keto, some stuff about keto, specifically the anti-inflammation. The Keto's gotten easier, keto's gotten better, there's more recipes available now than ever, the amount of carbs is higher than ever, and these are just some of the things that they may not know, and then of course that brings them down to our call to action, and this is simply a bridge, and a bridge that they should take, they will take, in order to get to our call to action. So by providing some, uh, maybe some lesser known details, some details that are not going to find on everybody else's pages, details that aren't going to find everywhere else, we're providing that bridge to our call to action. And in the next video, we're going to be creating our call to action. We're going to be setting up our autoresponder email form or email sign up. We're going to be getting into PLR where you can get free PLR uh, and where you can upload your PLR, free upload storage. We've got we've got three more killer keywords, we, so we, there's three more clone pages that we want to set up. And just a reminder that in future videos we're going to be uh, getting into YouTube and TikTok and other ways to drive traffic so that we can get immediate traffic. In addition to the fact that we're going to be building a content website which is going to actually drive traffic on its own. And if you haven't liked this video, for goodness sakes, give it a big thumbs up if you would. Hit that like button and while you're at it, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. Ring the bell, that way you're not going to miss out on these videos. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Allow me to wish you much success. Thank <laughs> you.